So welcome everybody to another session of the daily portion of German. And here we're dealing with the fifth uh, paragraph in Ernst uh, Trelch's um, uh, commentary. And uh, starts with uh, number five here, which you see the Die Zweite. And we have Terry online with us, who will be reading, uh, repeating the text after me. So please read with her out loud. And then the questions that I pose to her, um, try to try to imagine in your mind what the answers would be, so you can participate to the to the greatest level, the greatest extent possible. Okay, let's read some out loud. Uh, number five, starting right here. Die zweite von hier ausgehende Inter Interessenrichtung. Everybody. Die zweite von hier ausgehende Interessenrichtung. Möchte ich die Religions philosophische oder prinzipiell theologische nennen. Möchte ich die Religions philosophisch uh, oder prin prinzipiell theologische nennen. Good. Long words. <laughs> Very long words. Okay. So, um, where's the um, where's this uh, the verb complex? Um, möchte nennen. Good. Möchte nennen. So, and then the subject is Ich. Ich. So I would like to name or to call, is, is what Trouch is saying. And, and what's the direct object? Mm. Interessenrichtung. Good. And and this is actually a double accusative. I would like to call something something. So, so uh, and and here you have an extended modifier from here, die zweite, because you look after the second which you look for a noun or an adjective and you don't get it, but you get a preposition. So that's the clue that you're in the beginning of this extended modifier construction. And it just goes up to here. This is a present participle, uh, ND. So the, um, the the line of interest, you could say the, uh, so in, in fact, what you would have to do is actually start with I. I would like to call, and then, then do this one here. The... Uh, the the line of interest the mm -hmm. yeah so i would like to call the second line of interest and then go back to here which oh, proceeding from here which proceeds from here and this this whole means th this this phrase here refers to what what has been discussed just earlier so i would like i would like to call the second uh, line of interest um uh, proceeding from here or, or or taking taking my argument from the from that point and I would like to call it what? The um, the religions philosophische or principiel. Here's an adverb right here. Princip principally theological. And then th there's no, um, again, there's this word, this noun is elided here. So it's just the adjective. I would like to call the philosophical, the religious, the religion philosophical or principally the theological uh, line of interest. So this is implied again to be placed right here, even though the author decides for economy of speech not to include it simply. So you can do that with an adjective uh, uh, implying that this is added later on. Okay. Um, okay. Where's the verb complex in the next one? Um, common in Betracht. Yeah. So it it concerns itself, or literally it comes into view, or it it, uh, and then it, the plural. Um, so they come into view, or uh, uh, they're going to list a, a bunch of uh, subjects here. For for it, for Z, and für takes accusative, and this refers back to this philosophical or principally theological line of interest. For it, and then what's the subject? The um, the the questions. Yeah, yeah, the con concrete questions of the origin and the development of the biblical religion. Yeah. And then th that's one. So for it, the concrete questions of, of the origin and the development of biblical religion uh, is uh, concerns, it um, comes not into view, rather, or rather, the great question, die große Frage, nach der Begründung uh, about the foundation of 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 the uh, or, or the 
the, the founda foundation of the validity of, of Christianity amidst in mitten and then you have and then you have gegen uber so the, um, the the question about the foundation of the of the validity of christianity uh, amidst a a river or you could say a flow and then uh, finish that of the of the um, general the general history of religion de of development and and then and respect and with yeah. respect to with respect to mm -hmm. Um, the quite related claims um, mm. of another large religion. Yeah, uh, and, and, and with respect to Dane, here you have a Dane. Uh, so this is Gaganuba takes the dative, and you have the uh, N here. Uh, with respect to the quite, ad, it's an adverb, related um, claims of, of, of validation of other great religions. So so with respect to those, and also with respect to, so Gaganuber, this preposition applies to the last line, and with respect to the, uh, go on from there, the... The philosophy, um, or, oh or, goodness, I don't know this one. Well, or, <laughs> and with respect to the philosophical uh, oh. world views on Shaoran, or with respect to the uh, rational autonomous right. uh, r religions. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, a lot of lot of phrases, a lot of uh, more complicated words, but but you you get the gist of that. And basically, um, it's important to obviously find the verb first. Um, I then uh, indicate with the verb if it's a singular or plural subject. Look for the direct object, and then usually the rest of the sentence will obey and will allow itself to be understood. But so to look for the core sentence uh, first, as we call it, those, those three in that order is very helpful. Okay, thanks so much for joining us and hope to see you another time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.